Hey friends, we got this question from Abigail at our last nonprofit website, Office Hours. So the question is, how is a nonprofit homepage different from other homepages? It is a great question. Uh, a couple things come to mind. So first, with nonprofits, you have the nonprofit audience problem, where generally speaking, you probably have a lot more audiences that you're trying to speak to than the average business does. You, know, you don't have one buyer. You're trying to speak to donors, volunteers, supporters in general, potentially the community that you're actually serving through your programs or, or services. Um, it's a lot and it can get really daunting. Uh, and then the other related issue with that is calls to action. Most nonprofits have way more ways for people to get involved that have less overlap. Like a lot of uh, businesses have multiple ways that visitors can get involved, but they're generally sort of mapped to different stages of the buying journey. Whereas with nonprofits, you still have those different stages, but you also have fundamentally different journeys that people are on, right? Like the, the journey of a donor is pretty different than the journey of someone who is going to be interested in your programs or your services. There may be overlapping steps that they would take, but you're trying to just speak to fundamentally different groups of folks. Um, so related to both of those challenges, the thing that I always recommend starting with is getting super clear on the primary audience for your website, really trying to focus on one or two. If possible, I know that is a big challenge, but really honing it in on one or two uh, groups will go a really long way in tightening up both the messaging that you use on the website and or on the homepage specifically in this case, um, but the website in general for sure. And then also the calls to action that you are prioritizing. Because you know, if you know you're speaking primarily to foundations or grant making institutions uh, or you know, donors or volunteers, whoever the the audience is, it'll really help you uh, clarify the primary calls to action that you're gonna prioritize. You can still have secondary audiences. You can still have secondary calls to action. And there's a lot of ways to drive attention to those things. But um, you want to make sure that they're secondary, that they're not getting in the way of your general kind of primary focus on your homepage in this particular case. The other major difference is a lot of times with a business you're selling your kind of value prop that you're selling the value proposition the the way that you help you're directly selling it to the visitor uh, you know they're the one who is going to benefit from the value that you're providing for a lot of nonprofits that's less direct um again depending on your audiences if you're speaking primarily to people who use your services you know attend your programs Maybe it is a little bit more direct, but for a lot of organizations, you know, they're trying to speak to donors um, who certainly you provide value in their life. But a lot of times the messaging is more about welcoming them to join your movement that you've created. So it's a less direct sort of benefit that you're speaking to and more, this is our view of the problem. This is our unique way that we can solve it. If that resonates with you, we would love for you to join our movement, be part of um, our mission. So I hope that's helpful. There are some other kind of more nuancey ways that I think homepages are a little bit different in the nonprofit space and the for-profit space, but um, those are some of the primary ones that jump to mind. Hope that helps. Bye.